Hi, Columbia. Welcome back to Season 3, Episode 2 of CCN. This is the Spring Break Edition. Let's get it. And let's welcome back my favorite co-host, Sabrina Crippen. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, y'all. It's so good to be back. So, how is your spirit week going? It's spirit week. Yeah, you were supposed I, to dress up for tie-dye on Tuesday. I totally forgot. Oh, goodness. <laughs> but, hey, what's Thursday going to be? Thursday's Hawaiian Day, so okay. we better see you guys dressed and ready. Mm -hmm. um, so, are you into March Madness? I'm into a little bit of it. Speaking of sports, we gotta transition over to Ava and Taya. Hey, hey girls! girls! Hi, I'm Taya. I'm Ava. And I'm Ava. The girls varsity won on Tuesday, March 16th against Hillsdale, 30 to 60. They were led by Tam Fletcher with 23 points, Jessa Brown with 14 points, and Zoe Baum with 12 points. The girls also played on Friday night against Dundee and won 71 to 31 on senior night. Congratulations to the girls varsity basketball team as they won on districts last night. <laughs> Congrats to Tedessa Brown for committing to Clemson University to play basketball. The varsity boys played on Thursday against Sunday and lost. Here's Ashton for updates. The boys basketball team lost Tuesday night in the first round of districts. I know that the season didn't end the way we wanted it to, but I'm just grateful that we got to play in the first place. Thanks, Ashton. The girls soccer club is needing players so if you're interested please go to the office to get further information if you're interested in golf the sign up sheet is currently in the office if you're planning on playing a spring sport make sure you have a current physical in file now on to hunter with bowling thanks guys i did an interview with jacob luna and brain Steele from the boys bowling team Ask them a couple questions about this year's season here it is uh, where do you guys practice now that the Bowling alley in Brooklyn close. Now we practice at Ten Pin Alley all the way to Cumsey. One of the highs of this bowling season was our last meet against Clinton that went to a one baker roll off, which is basically like overtime to win by one pin to win the conference title with a record of eight and two. How did the regionals go? We finished as a team 11th out of 15, and then we had Caleb Gertzmaker who finished 18 out of like 90 boys. So. And now on to Sabrina and Riley. Thanks for the update girls. Um, What are you doing? I'm taking pictures for the photo contest. It's due today. You're not going to win a photo contest with a selfie. The uh, deadline's not until after spring break anyways. Since when did they push it back? I don't know, but they did. and welcome back to the Sam history. Today on March 25th, 1965, Martin Luther King led 25,000 people to the state capital of Montgomery, Alabama. Today, March 25th, 1995, Mike Tyson was released from jail after serving three years. On March 25th, 1991, Michael Jackson escorted Madonna to the Oscars. That's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you next week. Hey Riley, what's up? Just stress. Mm. There's lots of stuff going on, homework, deadlines, mm. SAT after oh. spring break. Like, uh huh. I see, that's the worst. Yeah, it's just kind of hard. Yeah, girl, I'm with you. Like, honestly, me being all cheery and stuff, that's just a mask. I am so stressed out. Yeah. I wonder if there was a way we could fix all of it. Me too.
helped, especially the favorite song thing. Yeah. Hey, you know who my favorite artist is right now? Who? He's actually a local artist, but Chase Hunter is really good right now. Really? I wonder if he's put out any new music. Let's look it up. Man. Was a man by the name of Zach, bounty hunter extraordinaire. But if I'm being honest with you, he had some real dumb hair. And when it came to girls, he had no game. Probably because of his clothes, he dressed real lame. Now looking at him, you would know that he is unattractive. And by the way, people avoid him, you think he's radioactive. But none of that matters, oh, as a bounty hunter. All that matters is you're a darn fine gunner. I'll let you take a guess as to whether or not he is. Well, if you get it right, you know he shouldn't be in this biz. Are you done yet? Oh, you bet. One game, 60 seconds. Four contestants playing with household items. And now it's time for Minute to Win It. The game begins in three, two, one. This week on Minute to Win It, we have two contestants from four different grades. They stand 11 feet apart and they have to throw marshmallows into the catcher's mouth. Well, that was our show of CCN this week. Thank you for watching and have a great spring break. Bye! Bye! And cut! Oh, thank Let's God. Leave. I'm I can't so anymore with this. Hey, we're still recording. What's your favorite thing about Columbia? Okay, my favorite thing about Columbia has to be probably the teachers. Michigan or Michigan State? Is this a joke? Michigan, of course.